administration is denying that a $400 million cash payment to Iran as four detained Americans were being freed was in fact ransom. That is exactly what Republicans and other administration critics allege after an unusual delivery of a cargo plane full of euros and Swiss, Swiss francs to Tehran. Here to sort it all out for us, Chief Washington Correspondent James Rosen is live at the State Department tonight. Good evening, James. Brett, good evening. Senior officials here at the State Department said today they were aware back in January of how bad the optics looked in this case, but they went ahead anyway because they needed, as they put it, to get creative about how to deal with a hostile foreign government like the Islamic regime. We feel very comfortable that the United States of America held on to its principles, got its people home, kept faith with them, and uh, I do not believe we have invited further uh, uh, situation. What Secretary of State John Kerry did not mention last January when he welcomed Iran's release of five American hostages the day before as part of a prisoner swap was that the United States, as first reported today by the Wall Street Journal, had also arranged for an unmarked cargo plane to deliver to Iran 400 million in hard foreign currency on or about the same day as the Americans were set free. This was not ransom. Any suggestion that it had anything to do with ransom is absolutely and utterly false. Now, yes, they were done simultaneously. And so I understand the coincidental nature here, the timing. The 400 million U.S. officials said was the amount the Shah of Iran had paid the U.S. in the late 1970s for an arms purchase just prior to the Islamic Revolution, after which Iran seized 52 American hostages and the U.S. froze Iranian assets here. Iran's claim to the 400 million had been pending in an international tribunal at The Hague, and the U.S., fearing an adverse ruling of up to 10 billion, said it negotiated a settlement worth 1.7 billion overall. Iran released five Americans who were unjustly detained on Iranian soil, and we resolved a 35-year-old financial claim with the Iranians in a way that saved Americans potentially billions of dollars. Secretary Kerry spoke to the settlement uh, at the time and tried to say, look, guys, I know it looks like, but there's no there there. The prisoner swap and the $400 million down payment occurred just as the nuclear deal with Iran was being formally implemented, and just a few days after the regime released 10 U.S. Navy sailors captured offshore. Administration critics said it all amounted to a ransom payment that has only emboldened the state sponsor of terrorism. We don't give them access to hard currency for the reason that if they get their hands on cash, they give that to Hezbollah and to Hamas. Aides to Secretary of State Kerry may feel there's nothing left to be said about all this, but the Republican chairman of the House Oversight Committee, Congressman Jason Chaffetz of Utah, disagrees. He wrote to Kerry today demanding all the documents relating to this transaction and also that Secretary of State Kerry himself appear before the committee to answer more questions about it. Brett. James Rosen at the State Department. James, thank you. Let's go deeper into this Iran situation with Kansas Republican Congressman Mike Pompeo. He's a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman Pompeo joins us tonight from Wichita. Congressman, uh, good to see you. Your reaction to this story, first of all. So the story doesn't surprise me, sadly. We've been tracking what happened uh, when these hostages were released now for months. We've asked lots of questions, and now we have definitive reporting that <laughs> bundles of cash were transferred to a terrorist regime that continues to take American hostages. Uh, this is a, a traditional foreign policy thing that we don't trade money for hostages. And in this case, it appears we traded at least $400 million, as may, maybe as much as $1.7 billion. This is an enormously dangerous foreign policy failure. Congressman, the not surprising. You're here the White House saying this is not ransom money. This is what Josh Ernest said uh, from the podium today about this. This $400 million is actually money that the Iranians had paid into a U.S. account in 1979 as part of a transaction to procure military equipment. So what the United States did was resolve a long-standing claim at The Hague that saved the American people potentially billions of dollars. They say they know the optics look bad, but this is old news. The fact that money was on an airplane, an unmarked cargo airplane, that they deceived the American people in Congress about, they never told us, within hours of the time that these hostages, hostages were released. Just strange credulity, Brett. To think that this kind of thing is just a coincidence is something that I don't see how Josh Ernest says with a straight face. Uh, this was a really bad foreign policy. It was an intentional deceit of Congress, and we still have lots of unanswered questions about how such a thing could come to be. Well, go into specifics about what you tried to do, what you tried to get from the administration 
administration on details of this transfer of money. Yes, sir. Well, back in January, I, I sent a letter uh, to the State Department asking a number of questions. Uh, why was the money transferred? For what purpose was it transferred? How was it transferred? Why was Congress not notified immediately of the method that this was transferred? All of the things surrounding this transition between these American hostages coming home and money leaving, taxpayer money leaving, heading to the Iranian terrorist organizations uh, were the questions we asked. Uh, to date, we've received no written responses. And you weren't alone. There were other lawmakers, obviously who wrote letters and tried to get information as well. Read a number of letters, indeed. Senator Cornyn from Texas on the Senate side and I on the House side have introduced legislation demanding that they provide us reports. We haven't got that passed.